So it's that time of the year again, guys. Avid announces Pro Tools 11. And I'm going to tell you some of the things I like. Offline bouncing, it's definitely a must. 64-bit ready. We all knew that was coming. Another thing is the ability to have Pro Tools 10 and 11 working in the same computer. That's right. You heard me right. You could install Pro Tools 10 and run 11. So if you want to work with your favorite RTAS plugin, you launch Pro Tools 10. Now, if you have more than 4 gigs of RAM, you want to use Pro Tools 11. Pro Tools 11 to take advantage of your system memory. If you have 100 gigs of RAM, it's perfect. If you're using Pro Tools 10, you're stuck within that 3 to 4 gig limit. Pro Tools 11 is completely rewritten. It's not a facelift. You know how to work the program already if you're familiar with Pro Tools, but it's completely a whole new program. So I'm looking at the Pro Tools Expert website, and let me read some of the things here. DAE is dead. We have 64-bit. Offline bouncing, low latency input buffer, which is crazy. It's amazing. Dynamic host processing. So there you go, guys. Pro Tools 11 around the corner. Check the description. If not, go check out Russ from uh, Pro Tools Expert. I keep saying Air Users Blog. I'm so used to that. They made a whole video on this. It's about 45 minutes long. I just wanted to give you guys the heads up that Pro Tools 11 is around the corner. Here's what I want to know. Are you going to upgrade? The prices. You know what? Before I go, let's uh, cover some of the prices. So. Pro Tools 11 software full version, $699 USD. Pro Tools 10 to 11 is $299 USD. Pro Tools 9 to 11, $399. Pro Tools Express to Pro Tools 11 cross grade, $499. Pro Tools HD 10 to 11 upgrade is $599 USD. And Pro Tools HD 9 to 11 upgrade is $999. So you know what, it's not that bad. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Check the description. Lots and lots of information there. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.